Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be a day in the life with a baker. So, so many people have been asking for this and it's actually the night before the day that I'm gonna be filming, hence why I've got no makeup on, but I am going to be doing a little bit of prep. So I wanted to show you it because I thought that it will be stuff that you guys wanna see. So I need to do a bit of prep because I have seven brownie boxes going out on Monday and I've got to bake them all tomorrow, package them and everything. Then they're going to the post office. One of them I have to deliver because it's actually someone in my area, but they ordered through my website. So I'll be hand delivering that one. Um, so I'm gonna be washing up, baking, packaging, and doing a bit of admin in this video. So if you haven't already, please like and subscribe and we're gonna get into all of the prep. So, I'm just going to go through, so I've got all my packaging here because I like, I feel very productive when I do this, so this is the way I like to do it, obviously if you would prefer to do it a different way then please do. So I have all of my packaging here and I like to make up every single box and put all of the um, kind of like decorative stuff like business cards, I write out all the messages the night before like gift messages, I write out all the addresses, um, I also put things like these cellophane bags in there so i put all of this in there so that i literally open the box and i can start the order it's got a foil tray in there ready for when i'm baking so i just take the tray out so that's the way that i like to do it i also make post-it notes with a few bits of important info so i'm going to go through those now so i'm obviously not going to show you people's names but i have my post-its here if it will unstick from my bed so I have these post-its, so this is the kind of theme of it, and there's more there. So I've put the hand delivery one on a pink one, and then the rest are just on purple. So I've got the person's name, what it is that they're having, and then I've got the postcode, just so that I can match it to the address that I put in the box. So the way I do it, because I am just, I like to check things, like triple check things. So I obviously put a message in there, I put a delivery address, then I have the actual order. So I wanna make sure that everything I put in there is for that person and that I haven't mixed anything up. So I have these labels so that when I am finished with an order, I can check what I've actually put in there. So what brownie tray, so I can go, right, that's a Percy Pig brownie tray in there. Then I can say that it's meant to be going to James and I can check the postal address to make sure that I've put the right postage label on there. So those are my little post-its. I'm also gonna go through and write all the messages out and the delivery addresses. So we're gonna start all of the prep now and then we will move on to the kitchen where I'm gonna put a few things away ready for the morning. So I have lots of stuff that is already washed that I need to put away. So I made a cake on Thursday. So it's now Saturday. I did some brownies on Friday, yesterday. So today has been my first day off and then I'm working from tomorrow again. So I've got loads of stuff here, which has come out the dishwasher or being washed up, which I just need to put away. So I'm gonna time lapse and basically clean up this area. So put things away that need to be put away. And I also wanna wipe down the counters because I like to do it just at the end of each day and I want to wipe this down and then it'll be ready for tomorrow then I'm going to move all the postage boxes onto here so that they're ready for when I'm packaging I can just put the brownies straight in there so yes that is the current chore
everything is organized for tomorrow i'm going to turn you around in a minute just to show you what the workspace looks like currently and then obviously in the morning it's going to look like a mess but i just wanted to show you my whiteboard so this is something that i have in front of me and then i like to tick things off and then i rub them out when they're completely done so i've just got my list of things that i need to get basically i got loads of orders this week for brownies it's actually quite shocking um so i've got eight boxes i think for tomorrow yeah eight boxes for tomorrow and then i've already got three for wednesday's post and obviously people couldn't order up until tuesday for that so people have got another three days and i've been getting three orders a day um this includes like other etsy stuff as well like my spreadsheets but yeah, so I have a feeling it's going to be just as busy on Wednesday. So I've got a lot of last minute things to buy on this list because it's things like toppings, which I don't necessarily have, but I know that the shops always stock. I've taken one off, which is white chocolate brownie, just because I couldn't find it recently in shops. So I didn't want anyone to purchase and not be able to have it. But everything else is really easy to get. So I'll be taking you along with me in the morning to pop to Little Tesco's and that's where I can get everything because they stock everything, which is great. And it's literally five minutes from my house. But we have our list, so that's all written out there. Then I just have different sections for different things. So I've got vegan brownie tray times one. Then I've got these in separate categories. So I've got three trays of brownie eight brownies because I do brownie trays on my website and then on Etsy I do brownie trays and singular brownies so these individual brownies are something that I do for local orders but I started doing it for Etsy and people really like them so I don't want to take them off however the trays are a hundred times easier to do because you don't have the cutting of the brownies you cook them in the tray and then you post them in the same tray so it's just a lot less hassle so I only sell trays on my website because it's just easier so I've got three trays of brownies um, then eight brownies separately and then four brownies so I'm doing these in batches so these will be the batches of the recipe that I use and then blondies I've got two trays of blondie so that will be one batch because it makes two trays it does make kind of two and a half so I sometimes make a little kind of like cake tin size for myself it's usually like a little four inch tin like that I just fill it with the leftover mix and then I have it for myself so that I'm not like over filling the trays because otherwise they will literally overflow so yes that is my list for the morning and I'm just going to turn you around so that you can see what's going on with this space so this is the space it's all stacked high on there with my turntables because I don't need any cake stuff so I've got my ingredients here. I haven't got the stalk out, I'll leave that in the fridge. I need to get some sugar in the morning because I made that cake yesterday, so um, I ran out of that. I've got my eggs in there. So we have our own hens. So I think I've got like eight maybe. Yeah, so I've got eight eggs in there and then they will lay again tomorrow morning. So all the eggs that I use are from our hens. I never have to buy any. The only time I ever bought any was when I did a market because I used about, you know, 70 eggs. But apart from that, usually we use our own postage boxes all lined up there. Then I've got my cleaning stuff, all my spatulas. That's all colorings up there. I've got my order book because I do have a in-person order. And then I've also got the postals. Then we have all our toppings here. And then my list my KitchenAid and then round here this is the situation that's where all my trays go in there um so yes and then I've got one of my dummies and then over here is a little drawer unit which I use for all paperwork and things but yes this is how organized it is so I'm gonna um go to bed now I think but yeah as I was saying I'm gonna go to bed now I'm just gonna finish writing off the address labels but I can't show you those because obviously I'd be showing you people's addresses so I thought I would skip that bit for you guys but you know how that's done I'm just copying the addresses off of Etsy and then I will put them all on top of the boxes and then tomorrow morning when I start opening the boxes I'll put the relevant addresses in the right ones um, I'm also going to write out the little gift messages but again that most of them are quite personal so I like to obviously not show you that guys so yes that is the end of this evening's prep it's quite long already so I might have to do this in two parts um, but yeah tomorrow we're going to be making all of the brownies blondies and then packaging them all up and I'm going to be going to the post office on Monday so yes I'm going to go to bed now
morning guys so it is currently 10 a.m i'm actually starting quite late today but i've had to do quite a few things already i had to pop to the shops and i couldn't find caster sugar so i was like going around like a mad hatter basically trying to find it i managed to find it at the post office which is like right around the corner from little tesco's because caster sugar is one of those things where i was like i can buy it on the day because it's gonna be there but it seems to be the one thing and even Amazon didn't have any like for delivery today or tomorrow so it seems to be a little bit of a shortage so we've managed to get that and we've managed to get all the toppings not much has changed in terms of this area but I'm gonna just show you the layout at the moment because I've got all my bowls and everything out so as you can see I've got my bowls I've got a few bits that I can get out the fridge so like the stalk is now out my scales um, so what I've done is I put anything that is going on top of the brownies at the back and then anything that needs to go in them while they're baking here. So yeah, that is the current situation. I'm going to time lapse you and we're going to make the three brownie trays first and then I'm going to make the box of four and then I'm going to make the box of eight. The box of eight isn't for tomorrow that's for Tuesday but I can make it today so what I'm gonna do is if I don't get time then that will be the one that I leave so yes I'm gonna start with the brownies then we'll go on to the two trays of blondies first batch of brownies is in the oven um, it's the three trays of brownies so we've got Percy Pig, Biscoff and Reese's peanut butter um, so they're currently in there they'll be in there for 25 minutes so what I'm gonna do is prep the box of four brownies so I do this in a tray rather than the foil trays because I end up taking it out of the tray to then cut it so it'd be a waste of foil trays so I am gonna be putting it in a square tray and it's half a batch so I'm gonna start making that and then when I do the blondies I've got some bowls aside for those um, so yeah we're gonna do the four brownies first so that when those come out of the oven this next batch will be ready to go in I've done the next batch of brownies they're ready to go in the oven as you can see if you saw me writing on the greaseproof paper it's a little tip that I do because I bake all of mine in the same tray if it's for the same order obviously um, so if someone's getting a box of four and they've got two different brownies in one tray then I just write on whichever side because it's really easy to forget because when you're doing so many I easily just forget which toppings I put in which side and what like fillings I put in which side so yeah just write on the greaseproof paper and then even when you take them out and cut them they're going to be on that greaseproof paper so then you'll still remember but yeah so they're going to go in in a minute supposedly because that's when the timer goes off for the others so perfect timing so the others will come out I let them cool on the top of the oven so like here um, I let them cool for half an hour in the tray and then I put them in the fridge for between maybe like two hours roughly 
and then I can take them out and start cutting them. If you leave them in there for longer, I would just cling film them. That's what I do. So I leave them in there for one to two hours just to really firm up because then it means that all the insides will be nice and firm and not kind of like soft and gooey because you can't cut them when they're like that. And if you have, then you've probably noticed that they crumble a lot. So a pro tip is to put them in the fridge for two hours and then you can cut them and they're really sharp edges. They are really good portion sizes without like crumbling and losing a brownie. Um, so then I, once they've all been cut, I'll just turn this off. Um, once they've all been cut and they're in the fridge after like two hours, then what I do is if I don't want to cut them yet, then I just cling film it. And if they've already been cut, then I put them on a bendy tray, which is one of these, which is what I use to decorate. So I use this and as you can see, it's really bendy. I got them from Dunelm. So um, it just means that you can put them on there. It's like a chopping board as well. So you can use it to chop and you can also decorate on it and then it just wipes clean. It's really easy. And it was a pack of three. So I definitely recommend those as well. So yes, these are gonna go in the oven soon. I'm just gonna do a bit more washing up. Um, so I won't show you that because I showed you earlier and you're probably bored of washing up. Um, and then I'm just gonna wipe down a few counters and do the dishwasher, make a tea. Um, my parents have got up, so I'm gonna make a tea for myself and then I can make one for them as well. So yes, that is the current plan. And then once I've done the washing up, then I'm gonna start on the blondies. And it's only been um, about 50 minutes. So, and every that's all in the oven, almost baked. So, and then decorating probably takes about half an hour. So usually brownies don't take me very long. I can get um, a batch of brownies done in maybe like an hour. Um, obviously all this decorating, all these brownies will be decorated in an hour because I'll do them all at the same time. So yeah, it's pretty quick. So, and the blondies don't take as much decorating because um, the fillings are baked in there. And then I just put a little bit of drizzle on top, but they're a bit different um, because it's biscuits going inside it. I usually bake them in it or I put them in like right at the end when it's got a few minutes left. Whereas the brownies, I bake stuff in them, but then I also add extra toppings on top. So it just depends on what you're doing. Um, and this corner just looks great. So I'm going to take a photo of this and put it on my Instagram. As you can see, that just looks amazing. Um, so yes, and then this is my little tray, another tip. I have a little chopping board here, so I can chop anything that I need to put in the brownies. And then I can also put any dirty utensils because I can like pick them up and down because the chopping board is clean. Um, whereas if you've got like chocolate on a spatula, you don't want to then put it on the worktop. So yes, um, I'm gonna take these out of the oven and I will see you in a little while. the brownies there's three trays currently in the oven you would have seen that there's one tray that was on the end that was a little bit lower than the others that was the leftover mix so what I'm doing with that is I'm creating a Easter one so currently I don't have it listed or anything anywhere so this is kind of like a sneak peek but I made a brownie tray a couple of weeks ago when I did my Valentine's promos and it was um, Easter themed so that's an Easter brownie, which is waiting to go on my website and on Etsy, but I didn't want to put it up before Valentine's because obviously that is the next occasion. It's like putting up Christmas stuff before Halloween is up. Like I didn't want to do that yet, but I'm making the blondie. So the blondie is white Smarty Buttons and Percy Pig, but they're the Easter version. So they're little bunnies. So I thought that they were quite cute. And obviously blondies are usually more savory than brownies in terms of toppings. It's usually like biscuits, stuff like that. So that's why I went for those because I thought that they would be better on a blondie. If someone requests to have them on a brownie, then that's also fine. But those are the standard flavors I'm gonna be selling. Um, so now that those are in the oven, the last thing that we have to make is the vegan brownie which is Biscoff flavoured. So I'm gonna put away all the ingredients that I don't need. So like eggs, um, butter, all of that stuff. And then I'm gonna get out the few things that I need for the vegan one, like coconut oil, bits like that. Put away anything I don't need. I need to do a bit of washing up, just wash those blondie bowls. 
I have some bowls I use for the brownies which are fully washed up because obviously I need to make sure that with all the vegan stuff I'm going to wipe every like surface down before I start making so that it doesn't contaminate but I'm going to wash up those blondie bowls just in case I need any extra bowls for the vegan ones because they usually take more bowls and then I'm going to start on that um, I'm going to stop for lunch so I'm going to tidy this area up and do a bit of washing up whilst my pasta is cooking I think I'm going to have pasta and then I'll eat lunch show you what I'm having and then I will come back and make the vegan brownies. I'm gonna leave the eight box of brownies, which is for collection on Tuesday. I'm gonna leave that till tomorrow because all I need to do tomorrow is take these all to the post office and that's it. So it's a very quiet day. I need to do some stuff with my ceramics line, which will be launching at the end of the month. So um, if you're interested in that, I'll put the Instagram link below because I'm gonna be putting like some teaser photos and stuff up. Um, but I have some ceramics coming out, so that's exciting. So I'm trying to do all this at once. Um, also, I thought I'd mention this because it's really good value. This is an apron that my mum got me from Aldi for Christmas and it's a really nice fit. You can tie it at the top and also around the waist. Usually these are like set lengths, whereas this you can tie it yourself. So it's kind of useful for different sizes and the back is also quite long. So it means that it should fit multiple sizes. I think it was all one size. I don't think there was a range of sizes, but I think it was like four pounds or something from Aldi and they had loads of different ones. So I definitely recommend, it's really, really good. So I, I just realized it's also got pockets. I did not know that. Um, but yeah, so that's my new apron that I got for Christmas. I'm gonna tidy this area up. So I'll put you on time-lapse for the cleaning kind of process. I've also just got another brownie order, which is a local delivery, but um, you know, it's kind of like postals. It's on the same day as postal, so it's on Wednesday. So that'll be going out on Wednesday. Um, I think I'm gonna do another day in the life on Wednesday. So if you want to see that, then let me know because it will be similar to this, but there might be a few different bits in it if I do any cleaning and just you get to chat to me or like hear me chat throughout the day. So you might like to see another version of this um there also might be the odd different thing on thursday because i need to make a cake so yeah um mum if you're watching this you're you're gonna already know by now you're probably gonna see me making it but um yeah i need to make another cake so on wednesday there will be a different thing because i just remembered that i need to do that um but yeah i'm gonna start cleaning now and stop talking to you guys because i've been talking for so long i'm really sorry if this is really long um it's like the longest day in the life ever but it's enjoyable so it's fine So this is the current situation. We've got seven trays here. One of them that I mentioned when I said that I had eight to do was the ones for Tuesday, which I've been mentioning. So I'm gonna leave those till tomorrow. But we've got, this one is Smarty Buttons, um, but it's not like a proper flavor. This one is the Easter one. So it's got a lot more toppings. So that's why it hasn't got all of the filling inside. This one's Biscoff, that's Jammy Dodger. Then I believe that one is, that one's Biscoff. That one's Magic Stars and Kit Kat. That one's Reese's and I think that's Percy Pig. So it's got white chocolate in it. Um, but those are the current ones. They're gonna all go in the fridge in a minute so that they can set for about two hours. Then I'll cling film them and then decorate them afterwards. And then this is what I got for lunch, just pasta and cheese. Just a quick update because I don't wanna to take too long because this video is already quite long, but I just wanted to quickly update you on where I am. I've had lunch, we went for a walk. I just popped to one stop and I picked up a few bits because as usual, I always forget something and I thought I had everything, but my cocoa powder that I got, because I've been going to the local Tesco's, which is around the corner, they don't do brands. So I didn't have the vegan friendly one. So I literally looked at my cupboard and I was like, where is my Dr. Onka? And there was none in there. So. 
that's because I haven't done a vegan bake in about a month at least so it just got used up but yeah so I managed to go to the post office and get that um, and then I've got all my other vegan ingredients ready um, and also some soy milk because I usually have plenty of like milk alternatives because I'm kind of vegetarian but I don't have milk but recently I've been having normal milk just because I couldn't be bothered um, so yeah I usually have some but I didn't so I needed to buy one of those as well then I just got some white chocolate Maltese bunnies because I've been told about these quite a lot and I want to put them on the blondie so the Easter blondie is going to have these and then it's also going to have the Percy pig so it's going to be like a mix and then once Valentine's is over I'll be releasing those and then that means if people like blondies and not brownies then they can still order because I have a feeling that there's probably some people that would want a blondie for Valentine's but I just have too many orders to be doing too many different things but yes that is the current situation I'm gonna make the vegan blondie I'm gonna make the vegan brownies now but because there's quite a lot of steps in it and it's very um, like there's a lot to do basically um, I'm not gonna film it I will just show you once it's done and when it's ready to go in the oven because uh, yeah like I say there's a lot of ingredients and a lot of steps so I want to kind of concentrate on that and I also have a energy drink to get me through so I'm gonna do the vegan brownies So guys we have finished all of the normal brownies um i just got one vegan one which needs to go in the oven um but i'll probably leave that out because it's just a biscoff brownie so it'll be decorated the same as the two biscoff ones here just with not the biscoff cream um biscuits it will just have the normal biscoff biscuits so i'll probably leave that out because that will probably be late this evening and i kind of want to put this up this evening but i'm going to show you what they look like and i'm going to insert kind of like a slideshow of some photos that I've taken because I'm going to take some promotional photos because I've got so many at once so I'm going to take some photos of them all together then some photos of just the blondies and then just the brownies so that um, when I upload them to Etsy and my website I can put the blondie ones with the blondies and then the brownie ones with the brownies and then I can also upload like group photos of them which look quite cool so I've got my ring light out so I'm going to turn you around so you can see what I'm doing so this is the view through the ring light and as you can see they all look amazing so we have Jammy Dodger, Reese's Peanut Butter, Percy Pig, Biscoff Blondie and then Biscoff Brownie and then this one is the Easter one so it's got white chocolate Maltesers and then Percy Pigs on it. So that one will be coming out in a couple of weeks. So make sure you favourite my Etsy shop if you want to see that because that will be released with the brownie mix one as well, which is slightly different. It's more mini eggs and it's also, I think it's either Kit Kat or Malteser Bunny, one of the two. So yes, those will be coming out soon, but I'm just going to take some promotional photos and then... Right, so now we are on to actually packaging them up they've been in the fridge for about 30 minutes so they're fine to then put in the cellophane bags and package and i've got four individuals which i'm going to be packaging as well so we've got all our boxes here you can't actually see them there you go so we've got all our boxes there the box at the bottom is for tomorrow's brownies so i might include that in the vlog tomorrow that'll be a separate video but i will see um but we're going to be doing all of these ones here the vegan brownies are still in the oven because they take a while so uh, once they come out I'll be packaging those but you probably won't see that so yes we're going to start packaging I'm going to time lapse and pretty much everything is done because we did all the prep yesterday which is why I'd recommend prepping it means I literally just put them in there put them in the cellophane and all the gift message the postage label any stickers business cards it's all in there so it's really handy so yes we're going to get going with that
So guys, we are finally finished. As you can see, I've packaged everything up. My phone died before I did one of them. So you've missed one, but I'm sure you get the gist. Um, so that is six orders there ready to go. The vegan brownie is currently in the fridge setting because it's come out the oven. So I'll pack package that up tomorrow morning probably. Um, and then I'm gonna be taking these around 11 because that's usually when it's not too busy in town. So because it's work day, fingers crossed it won't be too crazy. But yeah, I'm probably going to vlog that. So that'll be in tomorrow's vlog. But yeah, I actually redid the promotional photos. So I'll include those at the end. But I ended up using this. And as you can see, like you couldn't see the wrinkles because the brownies were on it. But as you can see, it's like all shimmery. So it looks really nice behind them. But yeah, I am going to edit this video because I have told people that it's going up today. Um, and if you don't already, please follow me on Instagram. I did some stories today because I was filming this day in a life I was being more active in terms of filming stuff whilst I was doing it So I posted quite a few stories today probably about like five or six and everyone Was obviously viewing them. I was getting over a hundred views on them So I thought okay, I'll see if people actually want me to post these so I did a little poll and about 50 people said that they want to see it. So I was like, okay, I mean, on a normal day, I put up a poll and I don't get any responses. And then I put up this poll saying, do you want to see like me making stuff? Cause I did like swirling around um, your brownie trays when you put toppings in there. So swirling them around and like adding toppings to things and like teasers of Easter products, stuff like that. And yeah, people wanted to see it. So if you haven't already, then go and follow that because there'll be more content on there. Hopefully I'm going to try and make some little reels and like IGTVs as well. But yes, I'm going to edit this video. I'm going to eat some brownies because there's a few. So basically when I do the boxes of four, because the brownies are already way too big or not like too big, but they're bigger than the average portion. Like a lot of people sell portions that are smaller than that for the same price. Um, so I cut a little bit off the edges to make them square or like to make them rectangle just because it looks nicer anyway than having the curved edges and it also means that it's a little bite for me to have so these are the leftovers I've just drizzled some leftover chocolate on them and then I'm going to eat those whilst I'm editing I have washing up to do yeah I'm not going to show you it because it's not fun so there's no point in me filming that and making you watch it but um yeah so tomorrow i'll be off to the post office i need to hand deliver some brownies which are in my area they ordered it online but they're in my area so i'm gonna hand deliver those so yes that's the plan but i'm very busy over the next two weeks so there'll probably be more day in the lives because i think i'm actually busy enough where it's going to be interesting for you guys um yeah we managed to get through today with no stressful like mishaps there was one with some brownies it's piping bags to drizzle my chocolate over the brownies and i definitely recommend that because it does look a lot nicer than just like spooning it however these piping bags aren't the most expensive and it just burst and literally the biscoff spread just went all over this brownie tray so then i had to scrape it off because there was a massive lump of biscoff on there and i mean like that on the middle of the tray so it was looking really pretty and then i was like oh i'll just add a little more drizzle and i just shouldn't because i should have just left it it looked fine but i didn't leave it and then it exploded all over it so then i had to try and salvage that and luckily it looks nice now but it was a bit disappointing because it was like perfect and then now it's not but hopefully they won't mind because it's going to taste really good so I'm gonna stop rambling and I'm gonna leave you guys. I'm hoping this isn't in two parts. If it is, then I'm sorry, it's because I'm rambling, but it should hopefully just be a one part vlog and yeah, it will be up tonight. So I hope you enjoy. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and let me know if you wanna see more day in the lives because I have plenty of time to be filming them. So I will definitely get those uploaded for you. So yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye.